Hey everyone, welcome to the in-depth drum tutorial for Oh Praise the Name. Uh, we're doing the song at 72 BPM with an eighth note click, so that would put it right about 144. Uh, remember, we always like the right hand to follow the click. It's a lot easier to lock in for several different reasons, and we'll always hit that in every video, but just in case you're only watching this one and this is your very first time to our drum tutorials, we try to make sure that drummers are uh, setting the click to the right hand. The reason why is because if you're at 72, it feels like this. If you're at 144, it's just a different subdivision of the same basic time. And there's a whole lot more guidance as a drummer when you're locking in your right hand to the click. So also, it keeps the team steady. If the team is listening to the click, there's a lot less space for them to drift. So it's a win for everybody. Uh, this song is a basic, uh, a real basic template thesis to it. it, is almost like a build that kind of happens instead of like phrase by phrase, it's kind of incrementally throughout the song. The theme of the song is built upon really a simple kick pattern of four on the floor, meaning there's four quarter notes to every measure and you're playing a kick drum hit on every quarter note, that's why we call it four on the floor. And then the drum groove on the toms is a very kind of um, uh, familiar uh, jungle-ish groove for worship songs on a tom. So it's like. Right, so that's your thesis. But where you stage it, it's interesting. There's a cymbal swell in after the first chorus. Uh, you're gonna kind of start cymbal swell, ride cymbal, guide the worship leader, keep time, you know, that whole time. Uh, where they're going through the first chorus, and that's super helpful if your worship leader doesn't have a click, and maybe you start the click going into that first chorus, and then that helps the band keep time as you're just riding the cymbal on eighth notes. And then you're gonna bring in that tom groove, but you actually bring in the tom before the kick, and this whole song is cued off the lyrics. So it's real important for you to kind of pay attention to the, the story that's being presented of like Jesus dying on the cross, being laid in the tomb, and then like the drums come in at the rise of you know the, the resurrection power of Jesus. And it's amazing how the drum part actually narrates that whole story. So you've got Next phrase. And that's rad, that triple stick hit on the cymbal that I just did, that's on the word um, trampled death, right? Trampled death, and you're just like giving narration to the story, so pay attention to those nuances when we go into the play along and as you're listening to the track because the more you can nail those things, the more you've got your worship leaders back and the more you elevate the song and it just starts to soar. When you get to the chorus, we're gonna add a rack tom into the same kind of pattern that you were playing on the floor tom and by adding the rack, it gives like a new dynamic there and then you're also gonna add a snare flam. And that's a, a groove that's familiar to worship songs but by the subdivision placement and by the flam, it really adds a lot to the story. Probably the last thing to really pay attention to when we're going into the play along is that last pattern on the, on the final chorus. We're gonna build out of the bridge into the final chorus with some big, huge cymbal hits. And we've talked about that in the overview, so, so catch some notes on that if you just went right to the in-depth tutorial. We're gonna hit those cymbals and then we're gonna do some fills to get us to the final groove. And let me teach you that final groove. Now, one thing that's kind of tough for new drummers is foot to hand independence, meaning my foot can hit into independently from both of my hands. So this groove does require a little bit of foot to hand independence. This is a great thing for you to practice just playing on your lap, you know, having that kick drum pattern come down separate from the snare hand and your ride cymbal hand. Uh, but if you can't do that groove, you can totally replace it with a really easy groove to play.
Most of us, that's one of the more entry level beats that we've learned when we first jumped on a kit. And if the other groove's a little bit too advanced for you to pull off right in the moment, you might wanna go to the easier groove. Jump into the play along with me, that's next, and you'll kinda see how we put the whole picture together, and then you can practice to that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you there.